face. I got no makeup on. <laughs> you don't need makeup on. I don't have makeup on. I like to be pretty on my days off. Hey. Right. Today's Wednesday. It's already what two o'clock, almost one thirty. Lazy day. Watched several. We're watching Survivor, season thirty-six right now, about halfway through. Because I, they have it on Paramount, which I, um, I paid for to watch Super Bowl. And then I saw Survivor was on there, and so we've been marathoning, binge watching. Survivors. I like Survivor. I've watched it since for just first season. Am I doing all sides of these? But I haven't watched these last several. Um, sanding, yes. Beating, no. Sanding, yes. Beating, no. Um, all right. So today, Janae, you're gonna start on these, right? Yeah. I already cut all the holes yesterday. Yay! Done. Ready to assemble, and we just need to sand it, stain it, sand it, beat it, then stain it, and then assemble it. And then I'm gonna go out and put the hinges together on the door. And my son's gonna be here, probably in a half hour, and we're going to hang that door. Yay! Nice. 
Nate makes the perfect concrete mix. That's as high as we got like this. So we have an inch of depth. And then we have a little marker in here on how high the concrete is going through. Where it's at first. <laughs> I will drop this. <laughs> <laughs> right, actually has to go a half inch more. Saturday, March 9th. So yesterday, um, stayed at home. It was cold. We had some snow. Not much. It was uh, just kind of flurrying through the day, but it was gonna. It was supposed to be raining all day. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay home, get some stuff done at home. And the day before, we did get some snow too. We drove through it. We ended up going down to the valley kind of on short notice because we found a handful of things we wanted to get. Um, and then one of the items uh, was pretty large. I got steeds. All right, where was I? Um, cold this morning. It's 23 degrees, I think it was. Um, this morning around 7 to 8. And... It finally, it actually, about 11 o'clock, it actually started jumping up there. I think we're at 51 degrees right now. It's not too bad. So we got more stuff. Went down the valley and made a handful of things, including one big item. We were going to wait till the end of the month uh, to go down there. And then we found a larger item. We're like, um, let's go ahead and grab that. And some of the others that we um, either paid in advance or they just was nice enough just to hold it because they don't deal with the online um, money transfers. They just held it for us. Um, always meet great people out there. And so um, for those that may end up seeing the channel or coming up to see the project, you know, it's just thanks for all the treasures that we find uh, to all of those out there. Um, and one guy too in Payson with all the stuff we've been finding lately. Um, we went there, I think, four times um, as he's downsizing his stuff. So he's a lot of great people out there. Anyway, that's the point. So I'm going to, yesterday I just left it in the truck and I'm going to offload some of it. But there's one big heavy item, a fan. 
it doesn't look like much. Um, looks like just an old industrial fan, but I have this idea to put it within our above ground elevator shaft that we want to do um, for decorations, for looks and pictures and stuff. But some of that stuff just will make it industrial. And I already showed you, it's kind of hidden right now. I showed you in a past video a few back um, uh, some of these like vents that will be on the side of the um, above ground elevator shaft too. And that kind of makes it look industrial as well. But this fan, and it has a little motor on it. He says it actually works still. And he would go in slow mode, like a slow fanning turn. Um, so that'd be cool. Like if we can hook that up even and just have it kind of lightly spin. So we got a couple barrels. We got this aluminum um, shelving unit thing that for a hundred bucks, I mean, we figured we could paint it. These black barrels, more 55 gallon drums for 15 bucks a piece with lids. The interior is red on them. We thought to use those for trash cans outside. And I'm thinking of making um, wood tops for them. So I think that would be cool. And then we have these roof fans up here, these vintage. There's got two of them. There's one in the back of the truck here. So this thing, and it's just very vintage. It came off a home, 1960s home. And um, so we were thinking of mountain. They're bigger than I actually thought they were in the picture. But we thought about mounting those on the, the roof here to have kind of a whimsical industrial look and maybe even paint those black um so we'll see on that and then um we got this crate it's pretty cool i mean for 25 bucks i had to grab it it's a rocket motors it's for the army i believe thing but anyway we got this case 25 bucks it's pretty cool um appears to be even weatherproof and just things like that. Um, I don't know if I got anything else in there. And then we got this little, it's more of decoration, this cart deal. So I have another idea. I haven't drawn it yet. I was just thinking, sometimes I go on Pinterest and it kind of helps me think of going outside the box. Um, at least get me, you know, combination of several things you see on Pinterest to form kind of something you might, might want to make yourself so I, I do that quite often but back here so we're gonna have the shed here and we have that little I thought maybe make this more like a courtyard like keep the shed here of course because that's where the water heater and all but maybe like right here somewhere right in here where the shed's gonna be even is to build a like put a barn door not a barn door a farmhouse door that we have which we already have in the box car. So maybe use it right here, put a window right here. Um, do something like that just to kind of inline it with the, maybe the shed. And that would be kind of a more of a private area back here because we're gonna have the employee area back here just to kind of have a table and all. And then I thought maybe Instead of using this fence and just throwing corrugated metal up, maybe we'll do keep doing what we were doing here. Go down with these posts that pop out and hang little lanterns on them and put corrugated metal in between those posts. And that way it's not just resting on this fence. And if we ever want to get rid of the fence or if this neighboring property did, we basically essentially have our own fence already up. So that's an idea. And then, uh, yeah, all right, I guess I should get, but get to work.
thing's pretty cool. Says uh, army, I think. Military or something. Maybe it's on this side. Simple uh, rocket. It's pretty cool. One inch, four flanges. I need four of those.
Oh no, it is recording. You can see where my pants ripped when it fell on me. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. All right, we are. I am back in the commercial. It is today is Sunday, March tenth, I believe. Wow. Yep, March tenth. It's uh, just afternoon. Lost track of time. I was actually going to come down a little bit earlier today, but I was working on episode number sixty point five. It's going to be our just kind of an episode with all our treasure hunts that we did in a couple weeks and we had some snow um, so this would have been early February so we're about a month since then so you kind of place you on the timeline on trying to get videos done while we're working and it's going to be harder because as it gets nicer I won't have as much time at home um, to work on that kind of stuff versus be here at the commercial working in nicer weather today is like 57 I believe it's supposed to be I think it's 55 right now and next two days gonna be awesome and then we have I think another snow might have some snow for a day or two we'll see it always says it's gonna be a lot and then it dies down to nothing or vice versa so who knows all right today's goal um, continue what I was doing yesterday we're going to stain the rest of these boards I just took one outside already I did the back of one so it's tacky, but I'm gonna stain the other side. And then tonight, that could go on the door that's out behind the gate. And then these two um, can use a second coat now. These are for the base of the gabion wall. That's the trim that we're gonna have in there. So I'm hoping to actually mount that today and I'm going to um, measure the board that's gonna go with this, um, the verticals and possibly the top horizontal as well. Get those going, and so I'll be cutting a lot more four by sixes today and sanding them and beating them up and then staining those with their first coat. They're almost out. But I bought another gallon that I'll probably just pour into here. Okay, so last night I actually did the bottoms already. So this should be I just poured another gallon of hair brown. safer than these little ones to knock over. I don't know if that caught it on camera or not, but I went ahead I just put a quick one coat stain on this pressure treated wood. Not that it needs it. In fact, it should probably not even touch dirt. It's just going to be touching rock on the back and sand when I do the pavers um, next on this side. So probably doesn't even need the stain, but everything I do seems to be over. So I always figure I've got the stain brush out, I've got the roller out. I mean. Might as well just whip a coat on there real quick for some little bit of extra, a little extra strength. So, and it'll kind of look better be before we get the pavers, which might be a while because we're going to have to trench in there and trench for propane if our plan A restaurant is it, if that's what we end up going with. So, all right, we're going to figure that out at some point. I was going to do it with all the snow we had this winter but we haven't had any snow it's been pretty good so i just keep on working 
<sighs> but all right, what's next? Okay, I need to stain. I'm walking in circles because I'm trying to think what to do. So I knew there was a reason to save this box that had other screws in it because it now I've, now I've got holes already ready. This again twist makes it so much easier to paint the heads all around instead of trying to paint it in the box, flip it around. Can never get them all. I was listening to music so I turned off the camera but just sanded all these four by sixes got four 55 inch which I just realized I only need three right now but I will need four I'll need more later um, and then I got the 73 inch 42 inch all sanded and pounded with chain and now I'm gonna stain <sighs> 